Hello, my name is Dave Ferullo, and I welcome you to New Hampshire Alive. My mission is to spotlight the amazing people, places, and businesses that make New Hampshire such a spectacular place to live in and visit. Fun and adventure is my main goal as I seek out and explore all this great state has to offer. So please, sit back and enjoy the show. And if you want to come along sometime, I invite you to join me on our next exciting New Hampshire Alive adventure. Hi, my name is Dave Ferullo and welcome to another edition of New Hampshire Alive. Today takes us into the depths of Lake Winnesquam and Winnipesaukee as we go on a scuba diving adventure with two new students. So stay and tuned, come with us, and let's have a great day. This advanced pool skill is a combination of many different and critical snorkeling and diving techniques. After ditching their snorkel, mask, and fins at the bottom of the 12-foot pool, students must, with one breath, swim down and don all submerged gear. They must then clear their mask and make a controlled ascent to the surface and then clear their snorkels. This must be done in a calm and controlled manner the entire time. Sandra does a magnificent demonstration for a first time. The least amount of energy and air expelled is key. Notice how little bubbles come from my mask as I clear it. I quickly switch into position and tackle the fins next. Staying calm and collected while underwater is definitely a learned skill. With time, proper instruction, and dedication, just about anyone can master this. Achieving this mindset is a must for new scuba divers, and instructors must strive to instill it within each and every one of their students. After the girls had mastered their entry skills, Gary helped Ashley rearrange her equipment. This guy really enjoys his job. It is very important for students to demonstrate these basic skills properly, confidently, and competently. Only then will a good instructor move on to the other basic skills needed. This next skill combines several already learned skills into one removing the mask, recovering the regulator, and replacing and clearing the mask is a bridge skill used to see if students are ready for more advanced challenges. Ashley and Sandra are performing very well and are ready to move on. And no scuba class would be complete without this shot. Although scuba diving is a relaxing sport, teaching can be stressful. I tend to bite through my mouthpieces often during classes. Hey, but in the end, it's all worth it, right? The next skill Sandra and Ashley learned was buddy breathing. This is a technique where two divers share air from one tank and use only one regulator between them. It is important for both divers to stay calm and collected while doing buddy breathing. Each diver takes two breaths and passes the regulator to their buddy. While the regulator is out of the mouth, the divers must remember to exhale that small stream of bubbles to prevent lung overexpansion injuries from occurring during ascent. This is a... Ah yes, watch me, I'm the star of the show. Now it's time for me to do the infamous gear ditch and recovery drill. This is not only a great confidence building skill for students, but also a very practical skill for advanced divers that go on wreck and cave divers to know. Simply, the gear is ditched and the diver does a controlled emergency swimming ascent to the surface. Of course, I'm hamming it up for the camera. and then dive back down to recover my gear. The gear must be recovered and properly donned. This may come in handy if stuck in a small space in a wreck, caught in a downrigger, or exploring a tight cave. 
I always smile at the end of a good pool session, knowing the students are ready for open water dives. Gary and our two eager students gear up for a few training dives on the shores of Lake Winnesquam. Ready, ladies? Yes. Let's hit the water. And then she turned around right and I was doing that, so my mask was full off my head. I hit my head on the tank and she was turning around. I was, it was awful. I need my hood. Well, it is such a beautiful August day today. I'm glad you're joining me on New Hampshire Live. If you can see behind us, um, the girls and Gary are just finishing up their third or fourth compass course. And it looks like they hit their mark right on the money. After compass diving, the next major skill the girls had to prove proficiency at was unconscious diver rescues. This is a very physically demanding skill as the student must recover an unconscious diver from the depths of the lake and tow them in about 50 yards while simulating rescue breathing the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not really sure what comments I can make on this, but I think the video explains it all for itself, so let's just keep watching and enjoy ourselves. The girls have finished their training dives, and now their big test is coming up. We're going out on Lake Winnipesaukee, and they're going to dive the Lady of the Lake. It's a 130-foot wreck in about 30 feet of water that was sunk in 1897. It's pretty cool. We're going to get a lot of good video, so come on along and let's see what's out there. Executing a perfect back roll from the bow of Gary's boat, I plunged into the murky depths of Lake Winnipesaukee. The girls were thoroughly enjoying themselves while perched on the bow of the Lady of the Lake wreck in 30 feet of water. This large sized bass greeted me and swam along for a while as I made my way down the 120 foot wreck. Even after 20 plus years of professional scuba diving experience, I am always awed and amazed at wrecks that are underwater. The Lady of the Lake is by far the most popular dive in the lakes regions of New Hampshire and has been written about in just about every national scuba diving magazine. Ashley does her best Kate Winslet imitation. And then, from out of nowhere, her and Sandra erupt in a swashbuckling underwater sword fight. I've dived this wreck dozens of times in the past and not seen a living creature on it. Today was quite another story, while there were hundreds and hundreds of fish schooling everywhere, swarming all around us like flies. This is quite an amazing experience for me and our beginner divers as we make our way back and forth across the ship through these many, many, many schools of fish. Midship offers a good chance to get a little penetration diving in. There are also two escape hatches which can test your diving skills. Most students don't have the nerve to brave the blackness of the inside of the Lady of the Lake, never mind trying to squeeze through this small hole in the deck. But Sandra and Ashley are far from my typical students. Before surfacing, Ashley and Sandra did a simulated decompression stop at 15 feet for three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't <really> <laughs>